Welcome back. This is a relatively short video showcasing a relatively short set of commands that allows me to spread players into the nether. If you're not aware, if you run a spread players command in the nether, it will place the player on the nether ceiling. Now this isn't what you want whenever you run a split players command. You want them to be within the, the playable area. So what I've done is I've made a set of functions that can place you inside of the nether. And uh, you can run it as much as we want, just to showcase here. And it will always place you on a block that will not hurt you. And I'll showcase how that's done pretty shortly here. As you can see right here, we have fail uh, fail states. Uh, if the player is placed in an invalid landing block. And I'll be showing what that is exactly here pretty short. So let's go ahead and let's go into the functions. Right here we have a prep command. This is the main function. I have a prep command that places the player on the nether ceiling and then teleports them down. This is the actual spread players bit. And then the rest of it is to place them in the nether. So right here we have cast block and cast air. Now these are essentially the same exact function, except these words are changed right here. What this does, if unless the block is air beneath the player, it'll keep teleporting him down until it detects air. Now once it hits air, it'll then keep teleporting the player down until they hit another block. And it's that simple there. What we're doing after that is we are checking for valid landing spots. Right here we have a tag. This is the most important one. The rest of these are really rare and just detect if the player is in a valid landing spot so they won't be suffocating or they won't be teleported to the void. Uh, what this right here, the most important one, is unless the block the player is standing on is cave spread valid, that tag, which is this tag right here, which is a set of naturally occurring blocks that I felt was uh, reasonable. It will then rerun the spread command, and it'll keep doing that until it detects that the player is in a valid landing spot, and then it will be done. So it's that simple. I could do it in just three, uh, three functions, but I like to have my stuff modular, so I have it spread out across a few more. So yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you all next time.